Some times ago, a young man went to his father and said, Dad, I'd love to be a hero when I grow up. His dad looked at him and asked him, Do you love to die before growing up too? The boy was confused and said, Dad, I want to be famous, not die. Then the father concluded, You can only become a hero if you are willing to die. Often, what we want out of life isn't what we get because we don't know what to do to get what we want. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the reason why most people don't achieve their goals. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here's the thing, most people don't achieve their goals because their goals are not their goals. Let me explain this. 99% of the people in the world are going about trying to achieve societal goals, not their own goals. For example, society says that it's important to have degrees. Society says you're rich if you have a million dollars. Society says that fame makes you happy. Society says using the latest phones, cars and wristwatch is a sign of success. Society says Working in a big company and being paid a good salary is a sign of success. You get the picture? Every society has some definitions of success and often most people in this society try too hard to key into that definition. The problem with this is that you can't achieve your goal if it's society's goals. Even if you achieve such goals, they won't give you the fulfillment and happiness you think such goals should give you. Values and Goals The real goals that motivate, challenge and encourage you are going to be goals that are in line with your deepest values as individuals. This goal would not have anything to do with the society and the noise around you. These goals would be about you and what is most important to you. Let me give you some personal examples here. When I was growing up as a Nigerian, Every young person I knew was proud of the university they are and the degrees they have. That is the public noise but listening to myself, I knew that my value is different from what society worships. I value true education. I value the street. I value making mistakes, learning and becoming smart in the real world. I value creating stuff from scratch no matter how difficult it will be. If I had listened to the society and set my goals according to what my society says are important, today I would probably be a professor but I will be miserable because deep within I don't value such things. Another example I can give you here is this. Again in my culture, three things are very important. Of course, after certificates, they are having children, buying cars and building a house or buying your own home. For all of these, I have been pressured by my relatives. My parents still told me on the phone a few weeks ago to go and build a house of my own. The culture says it's important, in fact, compulsory and everyone struggles to do it. The problem with this is that the guy who is making just above average income would be struggling to have his own home instead of investing some extra money he makes so that he could become rich because he's struggling to fit in he wouldn't be happy. Big Goals and Motivation Everything I've been saying in this video may not make sense to you. Pay attention. I'm about to say a few things that should make some sense to you and that is about your goals and motivation. If your goal is to make a hundred dollars, of course, you don't need any motivation to do that. Unfortunately, goals are usually very difficult to achieve because they are expected to be big. What happens here is that you need a lot of motivation to achieve your goal and one thing about motivation is that you can get it except you're honest with yourself. Let me explain this. You see, if your goals are being influenced by society, you will never have enough motivation to pursue those goals because those goals are not yours. They are not in agreement with your deepest belief and value. Let's use entrepreneurship as an example. Everybody in the world wants to be an entrepreneur these days but only very few of us ever succeed. Why is this? I think I have an answer. Most people want to be an entrepreneur for the wrong reason. Some want to be entrepreneurs because they want to make a lot of money and buy the Rolex, iPhones and the mansion. The dream of materialism being the sign of success 
is what the society preaches and it's not true. But because most people buy into this lie, they dream it and they never get it. The reason why they never get it is simple. If you start a business because you want to buy the most expensive phones, after three years of failure, something deep within you will start telling you that you're stupid. You will lack the motivation to pursue your dream because your dream is built on societal deception. When I decided to become an entrepreneur, my primary motivation was freedom. That doesn't have to be your motivation but for me, I value freedom more than anything in the world and I thought the only way I could get the freedom I wanted was to build a business of my own. Three years into the business, I made no money. Five years and seven years went by. Everyone thought that I was crazy and they were right. They were right because my goal is closely attached to my value. I would rather get it or die because without my freedom, I cannot leave. Almost everyone who told me that they wanted to start a business when I started either gave up or never started at all. What is the difference? Most of them were driven by societal goals. Their goals are not driven by their values so they are not willing to die for it. The father in my opening story asked his son, can you die to become a hero? To which his son said, no, I want to become famous. I don't want to die. The reason why that child doesn't want to die is that war isn't value. He simply wants to be famous because he has seen other people being famous as heroes. What that child doesn't know is that those who become heroes were prepared to die. If you can't die for it, you can't have it. If your goals aren't so important that you can die for them, you can't have them. The only way to make your goals very important to you is to set goals according to your deepest values. Not necessarily what the society says is the definition of success. Let me give you some good examples here. Some of us in our deepest mind love to raise kids. That is life and death to us. We love kids and seeing them grow up will have made us the most successful humans in the world. But because we see the pictures of some people's Lamborghini on Facebook, we were deceived into believing that pursuing money to buy the fastest cars is the definition of success. We run after degrees to get a good job. We get a good job and get the second job. Some of us start businesses and before we know it, we have no time to be with our kids. We are dying because we are not pursuing our goals but that of society. But we all pretend all is well. Some of us love nature. We would be happy being in one village observing and researching about nature but we want to be musicians because musicians are rich. We pursue societal goals and they only lead us to emptiness. Some of us value spirituality and would be the happiest human if we can eat, drink and obey all the commandments of God. But we are in a terrible corporate world where lies and deceit is the only way to climb the ladder. How can we be happy? I don't even know, maybe I'm preaching in this video but here is my advice for you. Be yourself. Know who you are and set goals according to your deepest values. Close your eyes to what the society says or think is the definition of success because success is personal. Make a list of the three most important things to you. Identify your values and set goals according to such. If you set goals according to your values, you will be motivated to get them because such goals will mean life and death to you. Because you are motivated, you'll achieve your goals. If you think you need degrees, you need it. If you think you can get all the education you need using the internet, you're right. If you like this video and you want to subscribe to educative YouTube channels, then you will enjoy our other channels which are about stories and biographies of some of the most successful people in the world. We call it Fame TV. Look at the description box to join the Fame TV. We love you.